Hello peeps, Druggard here. Welcome back to another Starmate tutorial. I got asked how I did the kind of realistic airlock on the swipe and if I could do a tutorial for it, so that's coming up. Okay, so I prepared this little platform for us. Here we have buttons, like one on the inside and one on the off on the outside. Same for the other door, one on inside the airlock thing, one in the ship. Basically the light side is the ship and the dark side is outside. And here, just for demonstration, I had how to do it if the, these would be rail doors. So how to trigger these. And over here, you could also do it with area triggers. You need an activation module next to the area trigger and then a button routing back into the activation module. This button basically could be either of these again. We are just focusing on the real logics in between. We are not focusing on how to move doors. We are also not focusing on how to set up area triggers or stuff like that. We will need uh, this gravity block because um, we want every time we move outside or we get into the ship to the gravity to automatically activate or deactivate. Now let's get started. First, we don't care where our trigger does come from, so we are combining these buttons with all blocks into one signal we can work with. The next thing we want to do is getting the state of the door with a flip-flop, no you are not connected, and putting this into a not signal. I just want to prepare them, well let's prepare the other as well. And then we make here the knots um, control the doors. And if we would want to hook these up to a rail, we would just go like such. And now let's initialize these because this is the normal state. Because normally the flip-flops are off, meaning the knots are on, they keep the doors shut in the default state. They also kind of make the door go shut, like this way is shut and this way is open. Next I would like to add some lights. Green stands for you can pass through this gate, door, hatch, whatever at any time. Yellow stands for the airlock chamber actually is in a pressuring phase and red stands for by no way you can open this door right now. I mean you can press the button but then it will have to repressure for you to be able to open the door and then enter or leave. Next we need to build us a timer to simulate the pressuring phases. I opted here for four seconds and this timer also could give us the information if a pressuring phase is now happening or not. We are most likely interested in the or not part so this not will be very important and it also should give us a signal when finished. Also we can hook up this ore to those yellow lights already. Next, we also need to remember in which state the airlock actually is. Is it pressured or not pressured? Therefore, we set up another flip-flop and a knot and actually initialize these. Now we need to make sure that as soon as a pressuring phase starts, we have to shut any open doors. So as soon as this gets high, if this door should be open, so this would be high, it would be closed. Now we need to make a definition. Let's define that this not being in the high state stands for the chamber not being pressured, okay? Let's use this signal to indicate the status in which we can open and close this side store at any given moment. This status I would define as we have the same pressure level in the chamber and the ship or chamber and outside and there is no pressuring phase happening right now. So as long these conditions are met for each side individually, um, we could open and close the hatch at any given moment. We are ending our status indicator of the chamber and the we are not in a pressuring phase thing together into the signal for our side. Also, we can use these signals to indicate 
the doors if we could always interact with it or if we can't open it right now. So hooking up the green and red lights. Knowing we could open and close the doors at any given moment, we could actually do the first connections of our buttons to the door. So we just again end the signals from the button and the information that we can open and close that at any given moment and route this into the door flip-flop. Same for the other side. The information when we need to pressurize the chamber is also already on the board. We need to pressurize the chamber when it is not pressured, when there is no pressuring phase in progress, but someone wants to get inside the ship. All these three informations we add together and link to the pressuring switch flip-flop. Same for the other way, when the chamber is pressured and no pressuring phase in progress, but someone wants to get into the unpressured outside, we simulate a pressuring phase. Okay, now before we test this, I also would like the system to open the door for us after reaching our pressure level. We have to take the information from we pressed for our site and it's not the right pressure for our site. And we need to remember this state in a flip-flop. And if this state is given and the pressuring process is complete, then we want to open the door for our side. And the same we will do for the other side. All right, now let's test this. We should be, uh, nope, not working. Why is this not working? It's not pressured, but this signal is not forwarded to this knot. So this was just a, a setting thing. So we have, should have, you know, Align these when building them. So, how about now? Open, close, a little to the side so you see. Open, close, there you go. Okay, so let's initiate a pressuring phase. We are pressuring, 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 and for some reason it does not stop. You are supposed to end this. But you don't so we corrected that now let's end this manually like so uh-huh something happened our door got open so at least the door opener thing worked did it it's still it did not reset here so we have to fix that and the side did not switch because our end of pressuring phase indicator is not connected to the which state the chamber is in flip-flop. Okay, these should not only close the door for us, they also should reset their flip-flops. So let's do this. And now we are in this state, so let's pressure here again. We're pressurizing and green and door is open, door closes, we are unpressurizing, door stays closed, this door opens, red, green, perfect. So yeah, that's the tutorial, sorry for the bugs, but thanks for watching, please leave a like if you liked it, and see you guys next time, bye.